Hello guys, today I'm here with a new tutorial, and in this video I'm gonna show, how to set up RAID on Mac OS. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for latest updates. So guys let's start. Before proceeding further, let me give a quick brief about RAID. RAID, Redundant Array of Inexpensive Disks, or Redundant Array of Independent Disks, is a data storage virtualization technology, that combines multiple physical disk drive components, into one or more logical units for the purposes of data redundancy, performance improvement, or both. Implementation of RAID, can be managed either by dedicated computer hardware, or by software. A software solution may be part of the operating system, part of the firmware and drivers supplied with a standard drive controller, so-called hardware-assisted software RAID, or it may reside entirely within the hardware RAID controller. For now, I will be using macOS Big Sur, for RAID implementation. For this purpose, I'm using 2GB 120GB SSD, which gives approximately 400 to 500 megabytes per second speed. Now open Disk Utility. Now, from menu bar, click on File, and select RAID Assistant. And here, you can see various types of RAID options. Each of them have their advantages, and unique features. RAID 0, or Striped, merges the capacity, read-write speed of drives, but does not provide security of data. If any of the drive fails, you can't find any data from rest of disks. RAID 0 is used for higher read-write speed. Coming to the second type, which is RAID 1, or mirrored, it makes the copy of the data in two, or more drives. Data security, or data reliability is the priority. Rather than that, read speed also increases, it only merges the read speed of the drives being used. If any of the drives fails, you can simply replace them, and your data will be safe. Coming to the other type, which is not actually RAID, concatenate, or JBOD, an acronym for just a bunch of disks. It merges multiple hard drives of various capacities, and specifications for creating it into one, or more logical volumes. JBOD does not inherently support any RAID configuration, hence, does not provide any redundancy, or performance improvement provided by RAID configurations. So, that was a brief of RAID on Mac OS, and now, I'll create each of the RAID, and we'll show you the read-write speed as well. Select the RAID type and click on Next. Select the drives you want to allocate for RAID, and then click on Next. If you wish, change the name, and choose the chunk size, in accordance with your data type. Larger files equals smaller chunk size, and smaller files equals larger chunk size. After that, click on Next and then, click on Create. Click on Done, and here is the disk, you can see both of the disks, and total size of the disk. Now, I'll quickly show you, read and write speed of the disk. RAID 0 performs approximately double of the disk, now, I'll show you creation, and speed test with other RAID types.
So, all best possible rate has been demonstrated in the video, along with the brief, and performance test. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and for more updates stay connected and have a great day.